Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Craft. I thought it might be fun to do some kind of little midweek scatter terrain. Or just other builds that I want to do that don't really have anything to do with the main build. You might have noticed some stalagmites and mushrooms and treasure piles and stuff in my glamour shots. So, let's show you how to make them. We're going to start with the stalagmites. So I'm using Das clay, just because that's what I have. You could use Crayola or green stuff or really anything you want. I just happen to have this. So all you need to do is pull out a chunk, squish it to your mat to give it a flat base, and then pull it up into a cone shape of some kind. If you want to smooth it out, just get a little bit of water on your fingers and then rub it down. Just make up as many and whatever size of those as you want to. Something else I thought might be kind of cool to put in there would be some skeletons. I got this pack of skeleton war little figure guys off of Amazon. They're probably closer to 54 millimeter scale, about twice the height of a standard mini, but when you cut them up, it's really hard to tell. So just use a pair of side cutters here and cut off whatever you don't want inside your stalagmites. It's also helpful to cut off some of those weapons and shields and set them aside for later. We will use them in another build. Now you really should wash these things off with some hot soapy water before you try to paint them because they still have mold release on them. And then just go ahead and start with some light gray. Pretty much cover everything. At least all the bone pieces. Paint up your wood pieces some kind of brown. Then go back over the bones with antique white. Go over your metal pieces with a metallic of your choice. Or a silver sharpie would probably work pretty good too. I was having a hard time holding onto the skeleton's head to paint his helmet, so I just skewered it on my X-Acto knife. I used a little bit of uh, gold metallic paint to get some accents. And a little bit of red on that spear's banner. Once you've got them all painted up and they're pretty much dry, just go ahead and squish out some more clay, smash the skeleton into it, and build the stalagmite around him. Put some random bones in there, smash it however you want. And for this big full-size skeleton, I rolled out like a string of this stuff and wrapped it around him and then smoothed it out. Get it on the mat and squish your base nice and flat and smooth it out. Okay, now for painting these, pick a dirt brown that you like and cover basically everything except for the skeletons themselves. Then going back with a lighter color using a sponge so you get the splotchy effect, sort of basically dry brush everything. Then an even lighter color to make more highlights. And now some antique white for some really bright highlights. What's cool about this is you don't have to worry about getting extra antique white on the skeletons because they already are antique white. And now black wash if you want to. In hindsight, after black washing it, I didn't really like the result and wish I had left it alone, so I'm probably going to touch them up later to bring the color back in. And here you can see, you just put them on the terrain however you need to go ahead and block stuff off, or just to look cool, however you want to use them. And that is stalagmites. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.